Welcome to the Gourmet Woodsman. My name's Greg. Today I'm going to smoke some cheese. Let's do this. Today I'm going to be smoking some Manchego, some good Kerrygold Dublin, Dubliner cheese, some Iberico cheese, some Jarlsberg cheese, some good old Tillamook sharp cheddar. I'm going to cut a little sliver off this Parmesan Reggiano. Try smoking that too. I hit up my local Costco recently. Got a bunch of Kirkland cheese. Pretty good stuff for the money. And smoking cheese is really pretty easy. Although, you'll notice these are all hard cheeses. You really want to smoke a softer cheese. I would not smoke it for as long. Softer cheeses tend to take on the more acrid parts of the uh, smoke flavor. So what I'm going to do is just cut this into slightly thinner pieces. So there's more surface area for smoke. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little sliver to taste myself, because why the hell not? Mm. I like them both, but I think I like the Manjago a little better. Both really good though. Wow, yeah, look at that Dubliner. You can see the crystals on that. It's from the being a bit aged. Again, smaller pieces, so there's more surface area for the smoke. That'll help us out here. So with my Jarlsberg, I want to take off, want to take off this uh, plastic skin. I don't know if it's plastic or what, but I know it's not going to allow smoke through, and I know it's not edible. This is a bit of a softer cheese for smoking. I might take it out a little sooner than the rest. And the main thing about smoking cheese is that it needs to stay cold. So we want to do it on a cooler day. It doesn't need to be cold, but 60 would be about perfect. Somewhere around 60, certainly below 70. We don't want our cheese to be melting. And we need a way to cold smoke. I have a smoke generator, which I'll show you. If you've seen my videos, you've probably already seen it. But the smoke tube can work well. Smoke snakes work well. A lot of ways to make cold smoke. If you stick around, I'll show you a way you can do it with your charcoal Weber. Now, I'm just gonna take a small piece of this Parmesan because a little bit of an experiment, and I'm not really sure what smoked Parmesan is gonna go really well on. I'm gonna as well take these cheeses out from the smoker. Got my cheese loaded into my smoker. Let's make sure nothing's touching. There's space in between all the pieces. I'm probably gonna go about four hours, but anywhere from two to four hours, depending on how much smoke you like on it. It's really all there is to it. Make sure it's a cold day and you should be fine. I'm using a smoke generator. It's just stuck through the intake of my smoker. It's powered by an aquarium pump that pushes air through it. And that's all it is. A smoke tube or a smoke basket will work really well too for this. I'll show you how I used to do it when I just had a Weber kettle. If all you have is a Weber kettle, you can still cold smoke. Just take a little piece of foil, make it into a boat. It needs to be big. Get a small amount of charcoal going in a charcoal chimney. Put one piece of charcoal in here at a time. Put a few wood chips or just a couple twigs. Some people will soak their chips. I don't like to because it causes, I think it causes a wet smoke, which is more sooty, dirty. Just don't put too many chips on at a time. Put this on one side of your grill. Put your cheese on the other side of the grill. This won't make too much heat. That's how I used to cold smoke before I figured out how cool a smoke generator is. These have been smoking for four hours and I'm gonna take them off. You can see they've gotten some nice smoky color on them. Well, as you can see, it gets these little beads of moisture on it. So I just need to blot that off. It did get a little warmer than I wanted today in there. 
Most of these cheeses ended up just fine. You get little bits sometimes of char. I should really clean my smoker, I guess, what that means. But like most of us, I don't clean my smoker as much as I probably should. Clean the racks, but that's about it. But the Dubliner stayed just fine. Parmesan stayed just fine. Excited about this Manchego. I've done that a few times and it's really good. I thought this was interesting because the Swiss cheese, the Jarlsberg, feels like the softest of all these cheese when they went in there. And it was on the top shelf, same one as the Tillamook cheddar. But the Tillamook cheddar, as you can see, it got a little too hot, couldn't quite hold its shape. So you really do want to do this on a cold day. It was cool, but it was sunny. And then I think the sun hit the black smoker, got a little warm in there. Might have been fine if it was in the shade. Temperatures weren't too hot, but like I said, that sun, sun and the black smoker might have been a bit, might have been a bad combo for this cheese. It'll be all right. Most of it held its shape, and even most of the Tillamook held its shape. It's just these two pieces got a little bit soft enough to start melting a little. You know, it'd be nice to have some smoked cheese now, but really the next part is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. You need to vacuum seal these and let them sit in the refrigerator for two weeks. Well, it's been a few weeks. I actually waited about three weeks. My cheeses are now ready. Got the Jarlsberg, the Dubliner, got the Tillamook cheddar, some Manchego, and some Iberico. Oh, and a little bit of Parmesan. I'm not really sure what to put that on. You know, I made something recently that I thought it would go really good in. I'm trying to remember what that was. Oh, it's not a pasta. We got a nice smoky, cheesy flea smell coming out of there. This one here is the Manchego. You know, I'm thinking I maybe should have taken off this little wax coating from this before smoking it, like I did with the uh, Jarlsberg. Looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Goes really good on huh? harder cheeses. All right, Parmesan is not usually one I eat just by itself, but I'm going to just take a little shift sliver. Interesting. It doesn't come through quite as much. I mean, it is coming through, but not as much. I guess it makes sense. The Parmesan is probably the hardest of these cheeses. Let's try the uh, Dubliner cheese. I think this is going to be a good one. Mm, that's a good combo. I think so far the Dubliner is my favorite. All right, let's give the Swiss a little try. Take just a sliver off the outside so I can get to the inside. I really like the smoky Swiss. It's probably the softest of the cheeses, although the Tillamook cheddar is the only one that tried to start melting a little bit. This is a softer cheese. You get a beer to uh, kind of palate cleanse. I'm going to try the Iberico cheese. So I'll be honest, I had never had before, but I had it at Costco. I like the Manchego. I had a feeling it would be similar. It looks similar. It maybe is a little harder than the Manchego. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like the Iberico. The smoke goes really good with that. Yeah, that's my, I think that's my favorite. Trying to gauge them not by what's my favorite cheese, but what my favorite is with the smoke. And I think the smoke goes with the Iberico the best of these. Last but not least, the good old Tillamook. This one did get a little misshapen. It started trying to uh, melt on me just a little bit. You know, the smoke, the sharpness, I feel like the smoke doesn't come through as much as I thought it would. I think the sharpness kind of keeps the smoke at bay a little. Smoke is more subtle than I thought it would be on this Tillamook. I'm not trying to rank these as far as my favorite cheese, but as far as my favorite with the smoke, the one that I think the smoke does the most for is the Iberico. I think the smoke really goes really good with that. I'm going to say my next favorite was the Dubliner. Surprisingly to me, actually, followed by the Jarlsberg, and then the Manchego, and then the Shark Cheddar, and then the Parmesan. Parmesan, I don't think I'd do that again. All the others, I would. Although the Tillamook, I might not get a Sharp. I might get one that's less Sharp. I like the Sharp Cheddar, but it really did cover up the smoke more than I thought. I thought the Tillamook Cheddar would be one of my favorites. Turns out, it's kind of at the bottom of my list. Still really good, and you know what, actually, this will make a really good American cheese. Watch for that. I know I've done it before, but I'll be doing it again. Definitely be an American cheese video coming up in the future. 
using a few different cheeses to make that perfectly melty processed cheese. Well, go smoke some cheese. It's super easy. Definitely makes pretty much any cheese smoky if that's what you're up for. Not that hard to do. Just takes a couple weeks of waiting. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, put some love into your food. Peace.